So that's the sephira of Tifra, like you said, cause, effect, and meaning. And in Dion Fortune, she says that no church ever worships all three aspects of Christ. The, ba the baby Christ cause, the king effect, and then the crucifixion meaning. And what, that's the, the, the Tifra to, or the, what am I saying? The sephira to manipulate everything down under it's now you have that you know power and responsibility and that vice is pride so if you let that uh your hubris get over your head with all this great power you're going to fall back down the tree that's amazing right there hell yeah that's amazing right there baby jesus cause adult jesus affect the savior the crucifixion, the meaning. Holy shit. That's heavy. So being applied to ourselves, if we start to analyze our life, from a higher perspective, we can start to see the cause of how we became who we are. We can truly analyze the effect of who we are as far as, you know, what we've become, what we represent in the world with an unbiased eye, right? Because we, we like to look at ourselves and our lives through a, a lens that's very tainted, right? We're going to look at it through a positive lens. We're going to justify everything. As soon as something negative pops up, we instantly start justifying it. Um, you know, there's a woman that comes over sometimes and um, inevitably we end up going through counseling sessions because that's, I can't have normal conversations with people. It turns into a counseling session. But um, pretty much I, I operate as a flashlight into her subconscious. And whenever I shine on something that she doesn't really want to see, instantly justifications come up. Well, I only do that because da 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 Well, I only act that way because da 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 that's what we do as people. When we see something we don't like in the darkness, we instantly justify it and sweep it back under that rug. We're not dealing with it. And in doing so, we reinforce these patterns that, that we're thinking and behaving in. So we don't get to the meaning part of it. We don't get to what it really means because we're, we're blocking our eyes from it. It's biased. We have to, if we want clarity and growth and evolution, if that's what we want, then we have to look at ourselves through an unbiased perspective, through a perspective that doesn't really have judgment of good or bad. This is what I did. And from anal analysis, I see that these are the factors that were included to create this behavior pattern in myself. Now I see what that means. And if I don't like that meaning, I've got to change a part of this formula. I got to change what it means. I got to change what caused it in other words make new causes to make new effects or i've got to choose a new outcome based off of my cause right i may have grown up in this type of atmosphere and this is where i am now because of my beliefs of it i can change my beliefs to make a different outcome that's uh so i mentioned this with amar a lot with uh whenever we're talking it's that so bandler he came up with an idea to, well, if you have much more choices available to you, if you tell yourself three different versions of basically your, your origin story, but you do it through different submodalities. And um, Vim Malanda did the same thing in Agora. So he would basically, he would tell one story, but he, in that story, he's told it twice and or three times. And then um, I said, The Dark Knight, the Joker, you know, you know how I got these scars, but really he's telling, he, you know, that could have not happened at all, but just having separate stories for, of your origin, you have, or different causes, you change that whole thing down the line. And once you have uh, Bandler mentions like one, you basically, if you have one option, it's, you're basically being forced. You have two, you're being led, but three, and even like, you do a geometry and, you know, do points and lines and whatnot, you can see the same thing. And then uh, with three, you actually have a choice, which is the first shape, a triangle. And then one of the, uh, it's a game series that I like called Legacy of Cain. Like one of the games was um, 
the last one was actually dealing with Tawa Shooty, but I think it was one of the ones in the middle, they were talking about how to create a third option. So they would basically manu- like manipulate paradoxes to create a third option at time because they knew it was either going to end this way or it was going to end this way. Well, once you create a third option, like infinity is available within that space. Wow. So you're telling me that if I really sit down and do this shadow work that they're talking about, I very well may be able to change the outcome of my life, my destiny, my future. Change the, the cause. Wow. Interesting. So I think with the origin story, one is like you're changing the structure of the experience. So the meaning you derive from it is already like changed. But then two, when you, if the origin story changes your frame of reference. So it's like, for, let's say for 20 years, I thought I was born December 21st, 1995. So like my frame of reference is from that point. So everything that I see or conceive or believe, like that's the origin. But as soon as you change that, then since your frame of reference changes, that changes your perception and everything else that comes after. And that goes into the whole identity change that like you had that size symbol mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. You know, somebody um, once talked okay. about how the effect is also embedded in the cause. I don't know who said that. Some Indian dude. Uh, one of the, I'm not gonna give, uh, I'm not gonna give the book, but uh, Amar posted on a story, so I bought that like instantly. But the guy kind of talks about when doing this, you know, quote unquote shadow work. You gotta. He basically gives the foundation for accessing Budhi. And then looking at your life from that unbiased perspective. And that was one of the things I got in a uh, personal gnosis when working with Azazel was to access Budhi and then how it's literally like Tifereth on um, when uh, in Tawa Shudi, that tree, mm-hmm. it's the Tifereth point on there. And um, so you're like, you're able to look at your life as a, like from the viewpoint of a computer. But just doing that repetitively, you're no longer stuck in these narratives. You'll eventually be able to, like, be, you know, what I posted in the chat, like, be calculation itself. I wonder if this explains why Tatwa Shudi has such a profound effect on you on a subtle level because of what you just said. Literally, like... <laughs> Changing your elemental composition in all bodies and planes. It's not even like all in total, but it's the like the all, right ones, the right yeah. leverage points. The ones that have elements. It's like uh you were to conquer like a say you're one country going up against another country you're not gonna conquer the many farms and the small villages and stuff you're gonna hit the you know the castles the important trade centers whatever in the same way Tawa Shudi hits those important points it's not going over all the little details it's hitting like the, the regional capitals and eventually the whole country falls and then what happens? You have like to stabilize that. it so you build it back up. And she says that in other words. She says that you're creating and destroying like the whole universe again, basically, in a mandala. That's uh, something that Bandler said is like with um, therapy, it's kind of that breakdown phase. And a lot of people or a lot of therapists would cure their clients pretty much, but they could do it seven times in a session 
But the thing they didn't do, and I think what NLP kind of specializes in, is rebuilding that structure. And uh, I don't have the book with me, but it was the, the NLP book written by a female author, white cover with like red in the middle. But she basically uh, says, hmm? No, I just kind of laughed. She basically said, like, to know that what you did worked, have them repeat it. And if they repeat it the same old way, that means, you know, your technique didn't work. But if you repeated it or if they repeated it or they uh, they used their new strategy, then, you know, it works. So they rebuilt themselves back up. Yeah. Because Snyder talks about that, too. It's like you have to make sure that the person's actually doing what you're saying because a lot of people don't even actually do it. 